Hello, my name is Anthony Allen. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Anthony Allen Edits, the YouTube channel that is all about your video editing, hints, tips, tricks, and more. And here in this video, I'm going to be talking with another YouTuber who goes by the name of It's Jack Cole, and we're tackling the subject of why you don't need to upgrade your camera equipment. <laughs> So if you're subscribed to my channel, you may already know that I made a podcast with another YouTuber who goes by the name of It's Jack Cole. And me and Jack Cole bounced ideas from each other, from our professional journey and so forth and other different types of knowledge that we've gathered along along our career and basically we tackled various subjects that could help the viewers and each other and one of the subjects that we tackled was talking about camera equipment if you're a videographer youtuber or somebody who needs to use camera equipment within their career it was a really good podcast and it's really worth checking out but here i have a snippet of it for you where we're basically talking about camera equipment and why you don't need to upgrade your camera equipment i know it sounds very very bold but you really want to watch this podcast because it will really provide you with more context so i'm about to show that snippet to you now and don't forget to hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button to keep up to date with everything here on anthony allen edits so without further ado let's have a look at that snippet from the podcast coming right up wicked which runs into my next question (laughs) and that is Basically, when, when uh, you know, as you're carrying, I think you've mentioned the, the camera that you use at the moment. Yes. It's a Sony model, isn't it? Yep, Sony A6300, uh, 6, yeah, A6300. That's it. When uh, trends change, occasionally mm-hmm. you might need to upgrade your equipment, especially when in, t- in terms of your camera equipment, you know. Uh-huh. Once upon a time, 720 was the highest uh, yeah. pixels that you could have for your camera. Um, when would you recommend that somebody updates their camera model? Uh, once, once you've outgrown it. As soon as you feel, and, and it, all these questions, you see, the the equipment area of video production is so specific to each it, to each person, man. It's so specific, I think. And um, I think you upgrade when you just feel ready. For example, um, I only bought, this This right here is my first camera that I've ever had. I bought it yeah. two years ago or something like that. Mad. Before, <laughs> but, but before that, I... I'd been shooting videos for years and I was shooting it on other people's cameras. I would get people involved. If I wanted to shoot something, I would go to my friend and I would say, all right, you got a camera, come get involved in this shoot. You know, come shoot this with me and you know, I'll I'll borrow your camera and I'll get you involved in this thing that I'm doing right here. And uh, you know, that that's, that's kind of how I started shooting nightclubs is I really like, uh, I I was, I was kind of zoning out of my party life. And, um, I, you know, I, I still wanted to, uh, you know, I, I wanted to be productive, but I was getting bored sometimes. I still wanted to go out sometimes. So yeah, I decided yeah, yeah. I was going to start filming nightclubs. And I didn't even have a camera at this point. I was probably 18 years old or, or 18, 18 or 17 years old or something like that. And I didn't even have a camera at this point, right? So I literally just grabbed my friends. I said, come with me. And, uh, you know, I just brought my friend to the club. I would get the booking and everything like that. I'd set everything up and I'd just bring my friend who had a camera and, you know, give, give, give him some of the money and we would shoot the thing together because I didn't even have a camera. You know what I mean? So I think I think it's, it's, it's your time, right? I only got this camera, uh, you know, two years ago or something like that. So I feel like whenever you feel ready for me. I'm feeling nearly ready to upgrade. So this yeah. year I'm probably going to upgrade and the one I'm going to go to is now I'm comfortable with Sony. I don't want to move on to other things. So I'm going to stay with Sony and I'm going to get the Sony uh, A7S Mark III or Mark II, I think. So that's, oh, that's a nice upgrade to this. That's a, no, that's a but, good camera. Oh, yeah, 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 definitely. But, but I think I would advise everybody to get the most out of a budget camera. I swear to you, get the most out of it and yeah. get amazing with it. Get to the point where you can shoot a phenomenal video with an amateur with amateur equipment. I promise you, that's that's the point that I am right now. I could shoot an amazing video, a really quality project yeah. with amateur equipment. Like nah, like it, it's pretty amateur equipment. So later this year, when I upgrade to professional, quote unquote professional equipment, because there's no quote unquote professional. It's just whatever you do with it. There really. you go. Exactly, but when it's I do how you upgrade, use the tool, not not the you know, it's how you use the tool, not how what tool you've got really, isn't exactly, it? Exactly, like, exactly, and that's the biggest tell of someone who's who's who doesn't really know what they're doing is is if they're putting too much emphasis on the equipment. On the equipment, I like I I know people who spend thousands on the on on, on the equipment. Account, you know what I mean? It. Thousands, but they don't know how to use it. They got the best, and, and, and they still they, they still can't make quality work it. like how you make quality work. Like you know, uh-huh. I feel the same way. I feel the same way. There's, <laughs> there's people that have spent like a silly amount of money on on on. 
different it? types of equipment and they don't know how to use it or they can't use it to the effectiveness that I would use it. If I get my exactly. hands on that equipment, oh, you know, beast. I'm, that's beast. what I'm saying. I'm making, I'm making, you know, a Hollywood production. <laughs> You know, if but I it's because we've gone through this fat track record that's of it. learning how to make professional looking stuff on amateur equipment. And that's my biggest advice to anybody starting videography. Don't go for the crazy <laughs> Get a camera you can throw around, you can beat up, you yep. can have fun with, and um, and, <laughs> and just learn the man, literally. And, and then once you feel like you're being limited, because at this point, um, I know I can make ma amazing stuff. But mm. I'm 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 now limited. I could do far better stuff if I had a better camera. It's not okay. super obvious to me. I've gotten the most out of I this camera, camera right here. I I'm doing the most with it. Like Ooh, I'm I genuinely doing the most with it. So I know when I'm now uh, upgrading, probably over the next six months, I'm gonna upgrade. So I still got a little bit more use out of it. But I'm gonna upgrade in about six months, and you know the quality is gonna take a increase, a massive increase, Wicked. with not that much massive, uh, uh, you know, increase in my personal skill level. Just the fact that I've gotten better equipment and my skill level is that beyond talent this camera right here. That's it. It's about the talent. Yeah. Next one exactly. into uh, next question I've got. So there we have it guys. Hopefully that has provided you with some more context and has helped you with your video editing or video career. Maybe you're a videographer and maybe it's provided you with more context as to what you should be focusing on during your progression of your career. If you've enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up or if it's provided you with some form of knowledge or context or helped you in whatever shape or form, then give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to keep up to date with everything here on Anthony Allen Edits. Thank you for watching.